We're coming to you live from Stairway to Heaven Arena in beautiful downtown Purgatory. And it's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll. Hey, who just turned you into some generic classic rock DJ dipshit? That's the best you can come up with for an intro? How about a nice simple, here's the fucking kickoff. Both teams hit the field ready to hit each other in this MFL matchup. The Snuffalo Thrills battle. The Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. And it's first and ten. Scrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a conference at home. Second down and six. Oh man, what a throw! He sits that one in there for a touchdown. That's his dance. My floor wizard vacuum bot had better moves. I dance with my vacuum a lot, Grim. That's not wrong, is it? It is when you make a dinner and buy a perfume, you pervert. Mm, only on a birthday. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. This guy's a brick shithouse. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep, third grade. Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. Oh, what a punishing hit that was! And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Defender knocked the ball out when he was in midair. It is a fumble indeed. Fumble Manji, the new game from Wilton Crabtree. He's at the 40. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. And the crowd goes wild. Touchdown! Touchdown! Chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. Yeah. 
The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. <laughs> and picks up media deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Oh, no, it's a sticky ball, dirty trick. The defense pretty much turned the ball into a yo-yo of doom. Did you ever think you'd say that, Grim? A yo-yo of doom? No, my friend, I didn't. Oh. I love this job. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Pow! With the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Second down and four. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. Third and four. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Third down in, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers.
Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. And it's first and ten. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my offseason. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Second down and five. Hi, oh, sure. Now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. And the defense gives up. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. Oh, the receiver has to make that catch. Now he put the team in a hole. Third down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Picks up a new set of downs. First down and seven. Second down and ten. They use the strawberry field's dirty trick. <laughs> Those guys, he caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. And they line up for the extra point. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Pop. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure battle.
first and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. It appears that the last ref was calling his stockbroker during the huddle and that tipped him off. It looks like he won't be buying that boat anytime soon, huh? First down and forever. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not young. Third down and forever. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. Nice punt. Should move them back nicely. He's got the ball now and his Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Oh. Scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. Second down and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Third down and ten. Six-yard gain. Timeouts aren't just for offense, Grim? Well, they usually are, but sometimes the defense thinks they're helping out in their own special way. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads up field. Boom! First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of script, and there's an eight-yard catch. Chipping away with those medium passes. I like it. Like a patient. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Nice hit. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, he just got crushed. And it's first and ten. And he breaks away. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And that'll be second and eight to go. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage.
Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, NFL isn't as good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. At the end of quarter two, it's a blowout. We now go to our halftime show sponsored by Monsatan Industries. Makers of great killer products like Ground Up. Use it on pesky weeds or neighbors, and they'll be gone by morning. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. Grab the toast! Why do we even come back and bother? This is a waste of our time! Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Go man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. He should have had that one. Second down and ten. Oh, man, I love this dirty trick. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. It should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves pain. First down. And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. Second down in a mile. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down and never going to happen. Quick pass picks up maybe two yards. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. The kick is good. 
good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. First and ten. I'm a house killer and seller. I am a hell and all seller. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. For every the offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That is still edible though. Just gotta scrape off the charge parts. And that'll bring up third down and seven. And he gets three yards on that run. And this is gonna be a rocket shot to the moon. So did his coach. It appears that the ref just received a pair of very expensive alligator skin shoes. Yeah. They need to put some cement shoes on them before this game slips away. I always wanted a pair of alligator skin shoes, Grim. I heard though when you put them on, they feel just like chicken skin shoes. And it's first and ten. It's a jailbreak. And the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brains ran with a ball and didn't fall down. Well, why go for one when you could go for two? It's always been my philosophy. A Brits can't even get one. The defense comes up big, stopping a two-point attempt. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. And the defense spiked the offensive water with Strawberry Field. And now they can taste sound but can't remember what the concept of time is. Sounds like you every day. Second down and more than the QB would like. Picks up two yards on the pass. And this guy's six feet tall. He could just have fallen over and gotten two yards. Third down and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. Give them four more downs to punish the defense, and you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. First down and nine. Oh, 
great catch, and that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. It looks like the defense. There's no reason to drop the ball if you're still alive. And he fumbles it, Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. <laughs> And it's first and ten. The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick. The quarterback can't dump it. And now they're gonna dump his ass. Now he's on schedule now. They all have. second down and we've got to pick up at least half of this and that's the way to get the sticks moving he picks up five on that play third down and the punter is warming up one hot two hot, hot, hot. the offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection close your eyes bricks this is going to get ugly fast And that's just a great run for a touchdown. I like this. They're going for two. it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Oh, those are just my balls. Hey, thanks for sharing, Bricks. They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. The four people on the planet who care about rules and kickoffs must be happy to see a flag down. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten.
and it's first and ten. Let me tell you, getting shocked is no joke. I used to wear triple wool socks, slide around on a shed carpet for eight hours so I could shock my younger brother. I went to change the TV channel, he got blown across the room into the deer antlers. And that'll be second down and four. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third and four. Hot, hot one, hot two. For a kick this far, you just got to kick it as hard as you can, partner. And aim. It's really important from this distance. It's probably a smart idea. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and ten. Caught for the first down. First down and seven. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and seven. Hot. Hot one. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And the ref just called a bullshit penalty. Second down, and, and the offense jumps on sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. <laughs> Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. Hot one. And that'll bring us to the two-minute warning. It's do or die now. Don't do anything stupid here. Just punt. Man, oh man, they lined up and faked it. Just like my friend. That play had no chance. This baby is over and the fat lady is singing. Yeah, speaking of fat, once I decide to burn some calories, so I set a fat kid on fire. Hey, I wonder if a fat drug dealer sells Diet Coke. And it's first and ten. Nicely done for a first down.
The defense calls their first time out to save some clock. I save clocks too, Grim. My wife hates them. They take up the whole garage. Wait, what? You're married? Uh, it's complicated. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just shoot them? It's the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. And that's the last timeout. The D has to either break the clock or the offense if they want to win. Hey, as long as something gets broke, right? Third down and forever. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. The kicker should make this, but you know how it goes in this league. So let's move on. They need a good return here to set up the offense. They're going to be able to return this one. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupid time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. Second down and long. Third down and long. This offense is rolling. Come on, Grim, that was a pass play. Rolling plays are in bowling. The offense has an uphill battle, and it all starts with making this first down. Well, the full metal may have crashed and burned it home today. Well, their opponent just said emphatically, this is the end, my friend. They just walked on down the field and said, I want to kill you. And did. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I hope there weren't any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.